Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we've got some severe weather on the way, possibly tomorrow. Luckily, nothing remotely close to what they're watching along the East Coast right now, which I'll get to that in a minute. But first, more on our weather locally. Here's what the Storm Prediction Center is saying for tomorrow. Anywhere in that yellow box is a slight chance for scattered severe thunderstorms. Anywhere in this box, if a severe if a thunderstorm develops, it does have the potential to become severe. Less of a chance as you get further back toward the west. Temperatures right now are rather tr uh, comfortable out there. Mid to upper 60s. You're at 68 in the capital city, 64 in Dickinson, 63 in Williston, and 58 right now in the Magic City in Minot. Like I said earlier, Crosby and Rugby look to be the cool spots, 54 and 55 respectively. Today in the Bismarck Day, it was actually a pretty average day. You got all the way up to 78 degrees, just one degree below the average of 79. Meanwhile, in the Magic City, you got the 76, which is right where you should be for this time of the year. Unfortunately, those average temperatures won't last. We'll be heading back below normal here as we go through the upcoming week. Satellite and radar, things are quiet right now. We just have a real thin line of a couple of sprinkles. There was a chance for some thunderstorms tonight, but that really didn't materialize, uh, thankfully. And some of the computer models, as we put precision cast into motion, are kind of backing off a little bit the idea for the coverage area of the severe weather tomorrow, which is good news because in, in doing some of the reading and putting the forecast together, we're going to be dealing with what's called a cap tomorrow, which really hurts the thunderstorm development. If that cap is too strong, thunderstorms have a, a harder chance of developing. But you can see by mid morning, there's some the models are picking up at the possibility of some thunderstorms up near the Minot area, and some of those might slide through the Bismarck area by mid to late morning. And then another round as we go through the afternoon hours further toward the northeast. Again, don't take those locations uh, to heart. The models are just picking up on where storms might be. Greatest risk tomorrow, large hail, high winds and frequent lightning, but still can't roll out an isolated tornado or two with that severe weather. Now, speaking of severe weather, we have the ultimate severe storm in the Atlantic Ocean, Hurricane Dorian right now. Latest advisory, 180 mile an hour winds. That is down, which is good, but what's bad is the forward motion is actually up slightly and every mile that Dorian gets closer to Florida increases the chance of a direct landfall. And you can see a well-defined eye right here, just about 20 miles wide as it continues to barrel right over Grand Bahama Island, just completely decimating the Bahamas right now. And this is the projected path, but I think this path is better toward the western side, unfortunately, of this cone. So if you're along the Florida coast, definitely news you do not want to hear. But we've got great news here in the capital city tonight for the early part of the evening, 59 degrees. We will have those showers and storms developing by dawn, by the sunrise tomorrow. Same thing in the Minot area, 56 with those storms developing after 2 a.m. Tomorrow, a very nice day after those thunderstorms get out of here, 75. Those storms will end by early in the afternoon. And same thing for the Minot area. Those storms in the morning, but ending by mid-afternoon. Here's a look at your five-day forecast for the Dickinson area. Scattered storms again on Monday. And then a sunny and windy uh, finish to the week with temperatures right around the average. And then in the Williston area, again, those storms during the day on Monday, but then the rest of the week turns out a little bit windy, but very comfortable, Renee. So if we can get through the severe weather tomorrow, I think we'll be all right. Sounds good. Sounds like most of the country is just trying to get through severe weather right now. Exactly. Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, is this the top, pot, top play of the week? You'll find out next.